Hey gang. Alright, next video I want to talk about, I just finished one on wet switches and float switches. I want to talk about uh, burned off terminals on compressor lugs. The, uh, the fun of changing this, both things out. You know, as well as I do, if you've ever had to fool with that, that sometimes when you have enough corrosion on a terminal, on a compressor, a rust and corrosion or whatever, that sucker will melt off and you'll never get a regular terminal back on that thing. It has the steel rod, you know, and it has a little flat piece on it, and the flat piece is just tore up or whatever, and you can't get anything on. Well, they have terminal lock kits out there, different kinds of... Uh, of locking kits that you can you can lock back on there with a little pigtail of wire and uh, get your system back up and running again. Now I have two versions here. Um, the first one is uh, made by Turn Lock. And I'm hoping I can read the name on the second one here, but if I can read it. Um, actually, the second one's Quick Lug, I believe, is the brand name on it. That's so. The second one's my favorite, but the term lock is, they're okay, they're, they do good, a lot of people like these. Um, and basically what it is, is uh, they'll have a, a wire kit with three of these in here, and they pre-splice off the end here, you just pull it off, it has a little brass uh, piece on the end, it's already pre-crimped, and you slide this over the terminal, they usually give you little instruction pictures on the back. Uh, showing you exactly how to do it, which direction or whatever. You slide it over and then it's got a little Allen wrench thing right here. You screw in with an Allen wrench. The kit comes with a little Allen wrench in here too. And, uh, it out. They have a, uh, a separator thing in here too. I think if you have, if you're having issues, you want to keep your, want to keep your, uh, your metal thing separate if you're doing all three at once. But you can get in there and put your little your terminal lock uh, Allen wrench on there and tighten that down real good and tight on that. Now, the reason why I say this is not my favorite is like, I've got a steel rod in my back. So it's difficult enough for me to lean over inside some of these condensers to begin with, much less be jacking around with some little Allen wrench. Some people are real flexible. They can get in there and they love these suckers and they do a great job. And they do do a great job, but to me having to fool with an Allen wrench... Uh, and trying to get my myself bent over inside there is just a chore. So, but that's it's a nice kit. They're not bad at all. The uh, the other ones here, which I, uh, I prefer quite a bit more, uh, it's called Quick Lug, I believe. And uh, actually, I saw an ad for these on YouTube. Whoever makes these cells do is doing the layout on YouTube. So these are the cat's meow, as far as I'm concerned. These are a little more, uh, just slightly more involved on the initial setup. Um, of course, they all, both sets come with, you know, little screw-ons to, to splice it with. And that's the same basic thing. You have your wire. It's pre-spliced here. Just pull the end off to, to uh, tie into your existing stuff. And on the other end, it has a, uh, a crimped-on terminal. Looks like just a little spade terminal. And it has this beautiful little brass piece here with a Phillips head, which uh, to me is much, much easier to fool with. So, and it's got the instructions on here explaining which direction you install the, uh, the terminal to. In this case, it's, uh, if I'm doing it like this, I would install, like here, I put that on, and here, you know, like so, and the terminal uh, shaft will be in there. In this case, whatever. And then I can get in there with my little tiny screwdriver and I can screw this down real tight. It's a lot easier for me to get in there with a little study Phillips screwdriver and do that than it is trying to fool around with an Allen wrench. So these are my absolute favorites. These are like gold and uh, saves you a lot of hassle. I don't even, most of the times, even if the terminal still looks good on the, uh, on the compressor, and it burns the other one off, and I can get some new sandpapered off. I'll still go back with one of these as opposed to trying to put a new crimp on, push on, clip on there because it's just it's not worth the hassle. Uh, you know, just 
you put these on real well on a clean terminal, you can get a little sandpaper on it, you can clean it up. You just rarely get callbacks on them until the compressor has decided it's time to make a trip south. Anyway, um, that's that. Nice kits, good stuff. And thanks for watching.